In the wake of the UN Climate Change Conference, fossil fuel companies are seeking to sue governments for potentially trillions in lost revenue, which could threaten newly made environmental commitments. Climatic Crisis is a cooperative strategy game in which players take on the roles of corporations who are seeking to expand their profits. Players must compete to be the top earning company while preventing the annihilation of the environment due to their common enemy, the fossil fuel industry. Climatic Crisis aims to educate players on the ways humans cause and are affected by climate change, with a specific focus on how large corporations such as Shell and BP play huge roles in these aspects. By allowing players to take on the roles of these corporations, we hope to raise awareness and encourage players to put public pressure on these companies to take their environmental responsibility seriously. The interactive nature of the game allows us to create an engaging educational experience that can be used both in and out of the classroom, whether it is a group of grade 8 science students or simply some friends meeting up for a game night. Climatic Crisis offers a fun and unique way to learn about climate change that is more approachable than, say, a documentary or an article. Here is a breakdown of the main gameplay mechanics. The game board is set up in a tile format, with each tile piece representing a piece of land. Through the game, players will be able to see how their actions, whether they're selfish or altruistic, and the effects of climate change affect the board. A player's turn may be broken down into three phases, the income phase, the buy and sell phase, and the end phase. During their income phase, a player receives $200 of passive income. This phase comes into effect on a player's second turn, as there is no passive income on the first turn. During the buy and sell phase, players may purchase a maximum of three adjacent green tiles, with the tiles priced at $100, $200, and $300 respectively. Players may also sell their own tiles for $50 per tile. Lastly, players may purify adjacent black tiles for $200 each. Buying, selling, and purifying do not have to be performed in a specific order, and players may switch between the three actions as long as they have the monetary means to do so. To complete their turn, players may choose to pay $500 for a green token, or gain $500 for a red token. These tokens can be redeemed for perks and punishments respectively, giving the player huge advantages or disadvantages depending on which ones they amass. If a player chooses neither, they may draw an event card, which will present two choices for the player to pick from. Event cards present players with scenarios relating to climate change, containing information based on real-life events and research done by the team. Each scenario is followed by two choices, which players may choose between. Each event card may contain the following, positive choices, negative choices, or player versus opponent choices. End phase decisions can heavily impact the game later on, as well as helping determine if your fellow players will cooperate with you or turn against you, so deliberate wisely. Once every player has taken a turn, the starting player draws a boss event card. These always contain a negative event, which ranges in severity from not receiving passive income the next turn, to triggering a sudden climate crisis. Once the boss card has resolved, increase the climate crisis counter by 1 and proceed to the next turn rotation. A climate crisis occurs when either the counter hits 4 or it's triggered by a boss event card. When triggered, the black tiles spread outwards by one tile, acting as an abstract representation of how the negative impacts of climate change spread and compound over time. Once the spread is over, the counter resets at zero. If not kept at bay by the players, experiencing multiple climate crises can have a dire consequence for the game and ultimately result in a loss. The game is won when the players have purified all the black tiles on the board. This completes the cooperative victory of the game. The additional competitive victory is then won by the player who has obtained the largest net worth. This can be calculated by adding up their income and the value of their land tiles, which is determined by multiplying the amount of tiles they own by $150. Our game design process was driven by a shared interest in climate change, and we aimed to build a game that would tackle the common emotions people feel regarding it, such as ego anxiety, panic, guilt, and a determination to create positive change. We wish for players to experience both the positive and negative emotions related to the topic and set out to design mechanics that would evoke them. Inspiration was gathered from all fronts, ranging from climate change data, videos, and other games. We settled on a tile format for the game, mainly drawing influence from Sid Meier's Civilization V. 
For us, this was the most effective way in communicating humanity's impact on climate change, as players would be able to visually observe how their actions change the state of the board as the game progresses. We decided to include both player versus player and player versus enemy conflict types into the game. In doing so, we were able to target both the competitive and cooperative aspects of people fun. Additional mechanics such as event cards and tokens were added and improved with each iteration of the game. Relative tasks were organized via the Eisenhower matrix and completed based on importance and urgency. Playtesting was vital in our development process, especially when it came to balancing the strength of event cards. Through our playtesting feedback, we were able to gauge how well our game reflected our design and player experience goals. Climatic Crisis aims to encourage thoughtful reflection and action in its players beyond the boundary of the game board. Through the choices presented to the players during gameplay, they are given insight into how profits often come at the cost of the environment. Acting out of self-interest may be profitable in the short term, but cooperation is necessary to complete the game. Through our playtests, we observed that players who acted selfishly were often punished or targeted by other players. Additionally, players would often work together or voluntarily parify tiles even when it was not necessary to do so. This sense of accountability and shared responsibility can be applied outside of the game. In particular, we hope that by placing players in the roles of corporations, they gain an increased awareness regarding corporate environmental responsibility. Players may then share the game among their friends or peers as a way to further spread awareness and increase public pressure on corporations to uphold their environmental responsibilities. Climatic Crisis. Manage your worth. Together go forth. Save the Earth.